Good morning, everyone. It's Yvette here, and I'm sharing with you how to make this Balinese elixir um, that I was taught while I was over there recently. The idea of elixirs actually came to me from a friend of mine called Kristen Fraser. She is a vegan chef and coach um, helping people on their journey of weight loss and wellness. So I love Kristen for introducing me to the elixirs. And this is happens to be a recipe that um, I picked up while I was in Bali. It's super simple. So the ingredients are basically fresh turmeric and the beautiful turmeric is actually orange on the inside. You can see this little nubby here, okay? Then we have lime juice. I get to pick these limes from my tree outside. Then we have organic, pure, raw, unfiltered honey, fresh black pepper, sea salt, tamarind paste, and three cups of water. So we're gonna start with three cups of water. You're gonna take your turmeric and you're gonna freshly grate it. If you can get turmeric to freshly grate, it's amazing. I happen to have this little grater specifically for turmeric because it makes everything orange. Like my hands were totally orange last week, it's hilarious. I know, I know I should be wearing gloves, but hey, I'll have orange hands, what can I tell you? So once you grate the turmeric, which I grated in advance for this little video, then here's how you put it all together, okay? Taking that beautiful turmeric off of the grater. So now, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So you take two heaping tablespoons and you put it into your three cups of water, okay? Look at that. I'm putting that in. And then what we're doing is stirring it to release all that amazing juice and flavor right in there okay then the next thing we do is we put in two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lime juice i happen to have this great juice presser so i put the lime upside down in there so that the juice comes out the bottom okay some people put it the other way around i find it works better this way so I put it in upside down then i'm going to squeeze that fresh lime juice not lemon, but lime, right out of there, okay? Then I'm gonna take two tablespoons of the lime juice and I'm gonna put it right into that water, okay? I'm gonna keep stirring and stirring. Now we're gonna add in a heaping tablespoon of tamarind paste. This one has all the seeds and everything in it. Don't worry about that. The idea is we want to get this to start dissolving in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into and just start smooshing it around in there. And we're going to notice how the elixir is going to start getting darker. Okay. I'm going to put that around in there and smoosh that around. And so all of this takes a little bit of time. What I like to do, which is why my hands get orange, right? I have nice clean hands, is I actually go in here and I like to squeeze, squeeze the pulp from around the seeds to really help it kind of start to become part of my elixir here. And I don't know if you can tell from the video, but from over here, I can start seeing the color change from bright orange to a little bit more brown, which is gorgeous. So we're letting that kind of start soaking in and getting out the pulp. Now this elixir is great for digestive health and it's also great for your metabolism. So what else are we gonna put in here? I'm gonna let that simmer in there, rinse off my hand real quick. Okay, and if you use any towels, know that they're gonna be orange. So I use an orange towel, super easy, right? So then I'm gonna take three tablespoons of the organic honey, and I'm gonna put three tablespoons, heaping tablespoons inside, okay? So for those of you who've tried to have um, turmeric elixirs before, and they just don't taste good, 
I think what you're needing is the lime and totally the honey. Now in Bali, I noticed that they use honey quite liberally over there. They're not worried about sugar intake of that or anything like that because the health benefits of honey way outperform any negatives that might be there. Unless, of course, you're allergic to it, but I'm not. So I'm putting three heaping tablespoons of honey into my elixir. And then you guessed it, I'm stirring. Stirring, 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 so that all that beautiful honey starts to become part of our elixir over here. Look at how gorgeous that color is. Isn't that amazing? Oh my God, it smells so good. So what I've learned is to release the healing properties of the turmeric, you put in some black pepper. So it's basically about a teaspoon of freshly grated black pepper going in, okay? and sea salt, which has electrolytes in it. So I'm putting in a teaspoon of sea salt as well, freshly grated, putting that in there. And those are all of your ingredients. So what you do is you're st I'm stirring so that all of this just starts to come together and gel together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually strain it all. So all of this pulp and stuff, is no longer needed once it's all come together. So I use a simple strainer. Let me go get it because I forgot to pull it out and I'll show it to you. Here we go. That's our strainer. And I'm just going to strain it through here so that we have an elixir that's easier to drink. I'm going to use this big bowl because today I'm going to make a double batch. So I'm going to strain it into the bowl and then it's ready to drain people. So here's what you can do. I like to use these jars and fill them up way to the tippity top. So there's no air left in there. My friend Mary Carney taught me about that. So I'm going to fill these up, these jars, one per day and I'm going to store it in my refrigerator. Now they're good for about a week in the refrigerator, but I just happen to make them fresh um, every two or three days. So I'm making enough for three days today. So that would be three batches of what I just told you of these three cups of water and all of this amazing ingredients. So I'm just stirring it to make sure that everything is in there beautifully. And then I'm gonna bring things closer so you can see. Okay, you just want to make sure that there's no tamarind chunks left in there, okay? All we have left are the seeds, which is fantastic, okay? And it looks like all of the honey is all nicely dissolved in there. So we're just stirring it patiently until it's dissolved. We don't need to rush the process, right? And so now, once everything is all dissolved, what we want to do is go ahead and strain it and you pour it into the strainer look at that oh my goodness isn't it beautiful Put everything in everything 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 then which you have on top of the strainer here what i do is i use that same spoon that i've been mixing it with and i just squish down press down to get every last little bit of juice every last little bit of juice out of there and what i do is i take these pieces that are left and um i put them either in the compost and the bigger chunks from grating like these pieces like this see the little pieces these little nubbies i put them in the pot and i just boil them with some water and i have instant tamarind i mean um turmeric tea so that is how to make a del delicious elixir. Let's see what it looks like when we pour it in a cup. So we'll have like a little shot. Okay, put this over here. Look at that, look how much we got. And we'll put some in there. And here is to your good health, yum. Ah.